Hello friends, so welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about a one more gradient in cascading style sheets that is a conic gradient. So in our previous sessions, we have discussed about a two gradients that is a linear gradient and a radial gradient. Now we'll go with the conic gradient. So this is also similar to our uh, radial gradient because the gradient will be applied from the center itself okay so here the gradient is applied with respect to center and here we are having a two functions one is a conic hyphen gradient followed by the function parameters the color one color two etc because as the name itself indicates the gradient means we need to give a minimum of two colors and a maximum of n colors and now the second function repeating conic gradient and here we need to give a color one from percentage space to percentage that means from which percentage to which percentage next similarly color 2 from percentage and to percentage so this is a function repeating conic gradient and this is mandatory so we need to give both the percentages or also you can give the angles Okay, so here mainly the use of uh, giving a conic gradient is to create pie charts. So by adding a small property called border hyphen radius with a 50 pixel so by adding this property we can create the conic uh, i mean pie charts right so we'll see one by one so let us open the notepad we'll write the code so i'll write the basic tags here and inside the html we are going to write a head tag and inside the head we are going to write the style so where we are going to write the style sheets right so here i will i'll use a style and in, in the body, body tag. So just I'm uh, writing the division for ID. ID is equal to uh, some conic and close the div tag and write on the style for this conic. So hash conic and uh, give the width and height let it be uh, the height is some 400 pixel and uh, width will be some 600 pixel right so let us see i will save this one so on dust desktop we'll save this one so conic dot html so in desktop you can find the file see conic dot html open that so we have just created we have not written anything so just give the color here so how we can apply the image background image and here we need to give the gradients like a conic hyphen gradient and give the colors minimum of two colors we need to give a minimum of two colors so let it be some green and yellow right so now you can observe a gradient will be applied see a gradient will be applied with a given height gradient will be applied for given height 400 pixel height and 600 pixel width and you can up, you can observe this from the center from this position it will start transition right and also multiple colors you can give a multiple colors minimum of two colors right so i'll give a multiple colors yellow black 
white pink orange blue brown right let us check see so these are the colors we have given we have started with uh, green and ends with brown the same happens green and it ends with the brown and you can observe here the uh, the gradients will be applied equally for each and every color the equal intensity will be there okay and this is one thing and one more one more thing we can also give percentage okay so we can change this uh, starting position okay see green and yellow and uh, red okay we i am giving only three colors now you can observe these are the three colors and one more color will you some white or black let us take a black color so you can see the four colors here okay and this is a starting position and you can observe here so if you want to change this starting position give here so from give the angle so from angle what is the angle let us take some 45 degrees so here the angle should be represented with a deg okay i just want to give 45 deg deg stands for degree so from is a from where it was it have to be start so you can see let us consider this as a zero so from here the 45 degrees so from there the starting position will be changed you can observe here from this position it has been changed okay or 90 degrees see this is a 90 degrees okay and you can also change the position position of the center right so add give the x-axis percentage and y-axis percentage i'll give some 30 percent on x-axis and 50 percent of y-axis see the center position has been changed so 30 50 so 30 from x axis 50 percent for y axis i will give 10 so you can observe it comes around here this is a 10 percent 30 10 so this is a center position okay so these are the two different options we can give in the conic gradient that is a from from angle we can change the starting position and we can change the center okay so let us avoid this one now let us see yes now how to create the pie chart so just now we have seen how to create a pie chart means just by adding the property called border hyphen radius with a 50 percent will create a pie chart now you can observe it creates a pie chart so let us reduce the size so we'll say see 300 and again height 300 so you can observe so this is a pie chart and you can observe the transition starts with the green and ends with black and you can also give the ending transition okay this is the smooth transition so if you want to give exact transition so you can observe so the green has been slowly converted to yellow and yellow is slowly converted to red and red is slowly converted to black but if you want to get an exact color give the percentage up to which the green should be applied so first color will always start from zero and if you give here 20 percent so zero to 20 percent will be represented as a green right 20 percent the green will be there and again from 20 percent 40 percent yellow will be there you can see exact value will get see exact value we are getting and red uh, from the 40 percent up to 60 percent it will be yellow again exact value and again the black from 60 percent to 80 percent you can observe here 60 to 80 it will be black so the last color you need not give the ending one so from the 60 percent everything will becomes the last color okay so you need not give the ending color 
so this is a from and to for, for the first color you need not give the starting position okay if you give the starting position you can observe here see 10 percent to 20 percent still it will be there okay and see for up to green 10 20 percent from 20 percent to 40 percent we are given uh, yellow but if you give here 30 what happens let us check see from 20 percent to 30 percent there is a transition slowly the green will be converted to yellow okay if you are not give if you are using the exact value that means exact percentage then the straight line will be there the exact difference will be finding out okay it will be visible okay so if you want to get a smooth transitions just give the percentages don't give the starting percentage okay just give the percentages so you will get the smooth transitions and here also you can remove from 60 percent so you'll get a smooth transitions right so this is a conic gradient function so we are having a different parameters we can change the starting position we can change the center position also now we'll see the next uh, function called repeating conic gradient repeating conic gradient see here i'll replace this one repeating repeating conic gradient and here we are supposed to give a confirm we have to give the starting angle and ending angle so i'll give a starting angle 0 10 and 20 percent is the end angle and uh, red with uh, 20 percent and uh, 30 percent and you can observe the design you will get the repetition right so you will get the, it will be starting from a red, green 10 percent to 20 percent and red 20 percent to 30 percent and if you go with a one more see i will give 0 to 20 okay 0 to 20 you can observe here okay green 0 to 20 repeating gradient and again 20 to 30 okay so let us take a, a one more 0 to 10 percent so this is a 0 to 10 percent and this is also will be a equal gradient okay equally distributed okay so again once again you can use here so blue 40 percent to 50 percent so you'll get a different colors right so here let us take here 10 percent to 30 so you'll get exact positions here 30 to 50 you'll get an exact positions so let us take 30 to 40 so 10 difference with the 10 difference you can observe 0 to 10 green and 10 to 30 so here again 20 difference is there so the portion of red is more now you can see the exact differences so 20 to 30 so the green 0 to 10 percent red from 10 percent to 20 percent blue from 20 percent to 30 percent you can observe here smooth transitions and again you can go with a one more color so with a 30 percent and 40 percent see so this will be happens it will start from green red blue yellow so it will be equally distributed so that's why we are getting an uneven images so you can go with a one more image one more color let us take some black color with a 40 percent and 50 percent so 10 difference i'm giving a small 10 difference you can observe so green red blue yellow black again you can go with the orange so you can give a more number of colors no problem but minimum of two colors must be there for the gradient right see right so this is how we can apply the repeating conic gradients and one thing you have to remember for this repeating conic gradient we have to 
give the from percentage and two percentage from percent and two percent two percent means from which percent to which percent the, the color should be applied so this is from zero to ten percent it should be applied ten percent from ten percent to twenty percent it should be applied some red color from twenty percent to thirty percent it should be applied blue and from thirty percent to forty percent yellow so in the same way the colors has been applied right hope you understood yes so let us give only two colors with a small pixel so that you, get, you will be finding a more number of repetitions here more number of repetitions so let us remove all these things we'll remove all these things so i'll use some black from 0% to 10% sorry 2% and white from 2% to 4%. Let us see the black and white wheel. So you can observe here. The black intensity is only 2% and uh, white intensity is 2%. So we are getting repeating conic gradient. So the same uh, gradient will be repeated equally. Right. So hope you understood this one. So this is the main use of uh, using this conic gradient is to display the pie charts, to display the pie charts, right? So if you are having any doubts regarding this one, feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.